Hmm. Okay, well, hello and welcome to Domain to Profit. I am Drew Walk here on Domain to Profit. The domain names never stop coming. They keep coming every single day, every single week, including when I am traveling with my family on vacation. But it doesn't stop us from being right here right now at 3 p.m., give or take a minute or two, 3 p.m. Eastern time, live to look through expiring domain names, specifically this week's expiring domain names. What the heck, why does that matter? Well, expiring domain names are an opportunity for you, opportunity for me, opportunity for all who probably don't even know about them yet, but domain names specifically have allowed me to create a life that I very much appreciate and enjoy, and I enjoy it so much that I want to make sure that you have an opportunity at the same life. And that comes through expiring domain names. Where So here on Domain to Profit, we look through expiring domain names together. I'll show you how to do it, show you what filters we use, and uh, show you basically we talk about how you can use these domain names to make money. Make sense? Sound good? Good. So as you come in, make sure you say hi into the chat because it's not just about me on this show. It is about the community. We have a community of others as well that buy domain names, develop domain names, invest in domain names. And if that's you or not, either way, make sure you say hi in the chat. Let the, everybody know when you get here. With that said, let's get restarted. From the main to profit, domain to profit, from a dot com to a business idea. Take your domain name, develop an income from domain to profit. We'll show you how. Domain to profit, from domain to profit. Join Drew Wash and get started right now. Uh, I do miss my uh, home studio, but I'm glad to be out and about. I'm in Orlando, Florida. Uh, with my family right now and here in a few uh, days towards the end of the week we have a trade show down here that we do each year uh, so business and pleasure fred nice to have you with us yes happy easter to all who's great uh, found some easter eggs yes easter eggs in the form of domain names that is what we are going to be hunting today this monday april 10th if you were watching on restream you might have missed a couple opportunities, but we'll see how it goes. And let's see here. Okay, uh, we have, uh, nice to have you with us here, Haytham. Uh, I think it's the first time I've seen your name come across. Nice to have you, thanks for joining us. How to start developing a domain name, like what are the steps and how much it costs? Well, uh, as you, if I encourage you to check out the end, the last like five minutes of last week's stream, uh, I went into just very briefly a little bit of what I call a Drew rant, where I talked about developing a domain name and how AI and ChatGPT is actually going to allow you and others, uh, all of us, to quickly be able to develop domain names. So that's a, a five minute rant at the end of the last week's stream that I highly encourage you to check out. Nice thing is that's free currently. Uh, that can create code. You just have to have the idea, which the domain names we talk about here on Domain to Profit, it's color by number. It's color by number. So if you've ever done those uh, coloring books when you were a kid, and it's kind of like you just have to, okay, number three is red, number two is green, and you just have to go in and color the right, put the right color in the right number. That is what we do here on Domain to Profit. We look for domain names that tell us what they want on them. I've made my money just by taking like towing.com, taking towing.com, what do you expect to find on it? Towing companies, that's exactly what I did. I just put on that domain name exactly what anyone would expect to find on it, and that in turn allows me to use that domain name to make money for myself. Many others buy domain names to sell them, but that's a one-off transaction. Uh, I prefer something that brings value to the world, value to uh, my customers, value to me. Everybody's better off with development. Uh, I am a developer, started off developing, and now I hire developers as well. So I recommend to many to follow the path I did, which is learn how to code, 
it's easier now ever than before. Uh, so highly encourage you there, Haytham. Uh, Jeffrey, nice to have you. Let's see here. Uh, don't forget to slam the like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Easter egg for Drew. I, I saw that we're like close to like 850 followers or something. The goal being to get to 1,000. Uh, so I do appreciate that. I don't request it very often, but I do appreciate you all uh, doing that for me as well. And uh, Rich's Domains, L A K L. Couch hopping in as well from Arizona, and yeah, Matt. Matt is actually in Japan right now, so I doubt he's going to be joining us. Uh, so, but yeah, Matt's in Japan. Coaster Gabi's, uh, I think, over in Tampa right now. Like, there's chaos happening in in my company world where we're all just kind of all over the place. But that is the beauty of what we build with domain names is we can do this stuff from anywhere, including uh, the, the hotel room right now, which is where I am, which is why everything looks different. So with that said, here's what the show looks like. This is expiring. That is all flipped sideways. Why is that flipped? I'm going to have to look into that real quick. Do, Everybody else sees that as flipped also, right? Huh. <laughs> so today's show, you're going to have to watch in a mirror. So there you go. You're going to have to watch in a mirror and figure out to, uh... yeah, let me try to figure out. Here we go. There we go. We'll get rid of, somehow that got turned on. That's why. I was a couple minutes late. There's uh, I had some audio issues earlier. Bill, I show audio is going out, so hopefully uh, you're getting it okay. So this here, as you can see up in the bar, is expireddomains.net. Expireddomains.net. And what we do here on this is on expireddomains.net, we look through expiring domains. So go there, set up a free account. It costs you nothing to look through this. And I can tell you from experience, this free tool is the best way to look through expiring domain names. So I highly recommend you go there and use it. Uh, the nice thing is with that free account, you can set up filters, you can save your searches. It's going to help you out a lot. I am paid to say that because it's a free tool. They get money when I click on the link and, and buy stuff. Uh, so it's affiliate only. So check it out. It's worth doing. And you'll see right here, boom, we have some pretty good domain names to start the week off with. Season Pass being the top one on top. So set up your filters. Let me put up the QR code. If you have not, you can. Boom, up in the QR, up there, you can scan that QR code. That will take you to a video that will show you the filters we use. We have it done in a little bit so i'm going to show you the filters we're using this week so it'll save you a little bit of time we get rid of hyphens up oh, let me make myself smaller here okay sorry i have no idea how a whistle comes through the microphone hopefully it's not we get rid of numbers we get rid of hyphens that's this section right up in here and then we also one thing that we talked about doing at the end of last show was we use this registrar section to rid of enom, E-N-O-M. Those domain names typically, even though they show in the list, they don't actually go to the end of the auction. So we're just not even gonna show them. We don't want them to, to mess our brain and, and get in the way. Then finally, we use these English, Eng English words, one to three words are what we look at. And then finally, just above my head there, you'll see that we look at domain names ending eight days so that means that we will be looking at the domain names that are now through this week's show uh, that's all we're going to be looking at finally we go to the tab we click on additional and we look at dot com only so there you go those are the filters we use that video will take you through and show them to you at a little lower pace and to get to what we're looking at we are looking at marketplace domains GoDaddy expiring domains let's get this party started uh, then finally, the last piece of the puzzle is to click on valuation, to order it by valuation so the highest value is on top. Just so you know, value is not the actual price or estimated price of the domain name. That is just something we order by. Ignore it. Do not assume, do not believe the advice or anyone that says that that is the actual value of the domain name. You'll go broke if you assume that and believe that. So. Alrighty, 
With all that said, SeasonPass.com is our first domain name, which I love uh, here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, when I'm home in Cincinnati, Ohio, SeasonPass.com uh, used to have a Kings Island Season Pass, and that's how I used to spend some summers. Uh, that is already $9,099 currently. I'm going to add it to my watch list uh, over on GoDaddy. That ends in five days. Let's go check out Season Pass. So you might be wondering, okay, Drew, how do you uh, decide how much a domain name is worth? Like $9,000, that might seem like a lot of money to you. And that is a decent amount of money for a domain name, but how can you just, so when I bought towing.com, I actually put my house in the line, used my house to get a loan, and then basically flew out to California, bought towing.com for $175 in 2007. So that, like, that's the kind of, like, you can pay a lot for a domain name, but it needs to be a good domain. How can you check out? How can you know in, that a domain name is valuable or not? How can you, you know it can generate revenue? Well, to do that, we can go over, which is spyfu.com. Spyfu, spy, F-U.com. And what we do here is we look at the keywords of the domain name. So we drop the .com off. That is why we look at .com. When we are looking at .com, we know that it is the marquee domain name. Any other domain name extension or anything like that, they're always going to want to get to the .com. As long as we own the .com, we can just come in here and we don't even need to look at the actual uh, at the dot com or anything like that all we need to do is look at the keywords we're essentially buying the keyword piece of that domain name so seasonpass.com let's go check out the keyword okay uh richest domain shows uh have audio but pick is a little blurry um i'm i'm running my phone let me um my signal might be a little on the crappy side. Uh, I'm going to move my phone. I'm going to stand up one second and move my phone to get it to a better signal, hopefully, because that is the thing is when I'm remote, I have to spend my time uh, getting things. Uh, it's all figured out through a uh, remote technology. So, okay, uh, hopefully, Hopefully the blurriness goes, but I do show that the signal's pretty weak. So, ah, one second, I will fix this. So right now, if I'm not mistaken, yep, I'm using their crap. So I might lose everybody for one brief second, but when it comes back up, when it Restarting, boom, okay. So thanks for sticking with me as I went through that. Uh, I got rid of the, ho I was on hotel Wi-Fi, so I, I forgot to disable that on my phone. Now we're using my cell phone plan and uh, we're on 5G, so the signal should be much better. Okay, sorry about that. Thanks, and, and always, I, I see a lot of comments there. I appreciate that. You're, we're all in this together, so let me know if something is, is bad. So. Okay, so we should have the blurriness taken care of. We are checking out Season Pass, which is the top expired domain this week, uh, according to the valuation that GoDaddy puts out. And you can see a little bit of here why that is the case. The keyword Season Pass is searched 2,100 times, and I'm guessing Season Pass is a very... Uh, like cyclical, I believe is, is the word for it. It's going to follow like a seasonal type um, it's going to follow a seasonal pattern, at least for the ones that are like season passes for theme parks and Disney and things like that. Uh, I see in the keyword data here in the middle, these miscellaneous keywords, uh, that most of these have to do with uh, games, video games. So season battle pass, battle passes. 
I don't really know much about that other than what you see, which is the keyword data. So there's obviously something that can be done maybe there for video games. I don't know. Um, and let's keep going. So as far as the money, which we like to look at the money piece of it, we want to see lots of people searching, but then we want to see a high cost per click amount. And then we also want to see lots of people paying it. In this case, we see 43 cents per click, two advertisers, I want to see $2 or higher per click and 10 advertisers or more. So not really set any records on this. Uh, you can see these other, these keywords here, uh, those alternative keywords. I like those. Those are like parks near me, resorts near me, uh, but that's not really what's being picked up for the keyword season pass. Now you might think, isn't it great just to own such a good domain name, Season Pass, it's a great domain name? Yes, you can use your gut. You can go with your gut. The only thing is the keyword data is data. You can back up your gut with that. If you are going to treat this domain name like anything more than a domain name that gets 2,100 monthly volume, uh, you got you to gotta realize that you are taking a chance. So you better be relying on some pretty good experiences at that point. I do believe this domain name is worth more than $2,000. I would probably max out on this domain name. Well, I'm not really interested in this domain name. It's not the kind of domain I would develop. Uh, but if I was investing in this domain name, I would probably max out in the 4,000 to 6,000 range, which you already see it's up over $9,000. Good luck to the buyer that's out there buying it. I am going to skip out on it. So salesadvisor.com. So mixed gut feeling on sales advisor here. Let's click on it and go check it out. My thought on sales advisor. Oh, boom, boom, boom. When we're looking at expired domain names, sometimes people renew them. Good for them. So sales advisor has been renewed. This is exactly what we experience with the enom domain names. That's why one of the filters gets rid of them is they get renewed typically. So uh, sales advisor no longer going to be there. Data links, income stream. I like income stream. I'm going to keep skipping over it though. I'm not, it's kind of broad. Barrier food fund. I think we talked about that one last week. Zoom in a little bit. Newswall, one of the things I was going to mention with uh, Sales Advisor, uh, we can mention it here with Newswall now, is that is a plural first word. One of the things, especially if English is your second language, I'm sorry, if English is your second language, if you're an ESL person, watch out for a middle S. Making the first word plural, word plural typically is a trap more than half the time it is a trap it is something that you will pay extra for or you will basically buy a domain name that's not as good as what you think one letter matters when it comes to these domain names and that middle s is one of the things that catches people off guard and uh, i keep let me see i own toysstorage.com i believe and it's toys with a middle s I paid too much for it. I will never sell it because it's just not going to be worth anything. And that is the domain name I keep for the purpose of teaching me and reminding me of the lesson of watch the middle S. Toys storage garbage. Toy storage, evidently a good domain name. But I don't have that one. <laughs> so keep that, uh, keep that in mind when you're looking at things. And uh, let's see here. Checking out chat a little bit. Um, we got hate them here is bringing off the uh, domain investor questions. I love it. I don't don't ever worry about it. I can always ignore the chat, but I love it when you're asking good questions. Asking about CV CV. What the heck is he talking about there? If you don't deal in domain names, you probably don't know what that lingo means. He is talking about a consonant vowel consonant vowel. So hobo would be a consonant vowel, consonant vowel. There are certain patterns that investors and in domain names look for that can help them find good domains that they could buy for lower prices and hopefully sell for more. Uh, so in this case, I don't play those games though. I don't play consonant vowel, consonant vowel, or uh, consonant vowel, vowel, consonant, those kinds of things. 
I'm not the person to answer that question is really what I'm coming here to say. I buy for the keyword, the exact match, the domain names that tell me what they want on them. I don't buy the investable, brandable domain names that are just waiting for somebody to put something up on it and define what the domain name is. So think of it like this. A domain name could be any number of keywords, any number of letters. It doesn't even need to be a real word. And you can put something on it and make and define whatever you want. That's what Google did, right? Google.com, what kind of a domain name is that? It means nothing. Now it means search to all of us, right? So when it comes to that, you can take a domain name like a CVCV or a CVVC, some kind of made up word, and somebody could build it into some giant empire. That is a different game than what I typically play. I look at domain names for the purpose of keyword in what people are already searching for. And like I say, those color by number type domain names, those domain names that uh, they tell you what to put on it already. So just, just so you know. So, uh, so there you go. I do see some good chat coming in uh, that will probably give you some better answers, hate them, than what I am giving you. So there you go. Uh, and uh, it looks like Fred is mentioning the Discord server. So I'm going to put, oh, wait, that's right. It expired last week. So maybe I'm not going to put that up in the, in the corner. So uh, I forgot that the invite link for the Discord server is, uh, somebody will have to create a new one and, and put that out there. Uh, so Newswall, not really a big fan of it. In that case, though, news is definitely different than new. So news wall is probably better than anything else. I'm not a big fan of it though. Music baby. IT specialist is one of the ones I was thinking about prior to the show when I was just giving it a, a quick look. So what is this one? IT specialist? I don't know. Something to do with technology, right? IT. Uh, so let's go check it out in the keyword data. This one ends in two days, $116 currently. And when you see a domain name that is still pretty cheap, that means you should not be bidding on it until the last few minutes. We do not want to invite others uh, to bid on it. And the earlier you bid, the more people that are going to see it. That's just the warning I'm giving you. Just so you know, if you want other investors to see your domain names, bid early. But don't do that. Why would you want more competition? Okay, so here you go. Uh, here's some of the keyword. Only 90 searches for IT specialist, IT support specialists, uh, 4,200 searches here in the middle. Uh, let's see here, IT specialist salary. Kind of interested into how uh, IT, oh, it's because it's plural. So specialists is plural. I actually like plural uh, when we are looking at directories or multiple of something makes sense. Like if you're looking for an IT specialist, okay, IT specialist. If you're looking to search through IT specialists, then you need to go to the plural. Uh, so in this case, 4,200 searches for the singular, uh, the plural is only 90. So you might be able to get it for cheap and then use it to work your way into higher keyword demands. We'll see. But I do like seeing this here, cost per click, $8.84. If you heard me earlier say that I wanna see the cost per click at $2 or higher, you might've thought, well, it says it's 48 cents, nobody ever pays $2 or higher. Ding, 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 $8.84 is the cost per click to target this keyword. The downside is there's only two advertisers happening here, uh, so it's still not ideal. What does that mean? Uh, pretty much it means that the value of this domain name is going to be up to you. What do you, what in your experience do you think this domain name could be worth? Uh, if I bid on it, it will fall in my range of domain names I'm buying, not based on the data. In that case, I will probably go of 600 to $800 in that range. We'll see if it ends up getting it or not. Uh, certainly adding it to my watch list. Uh, so there we go. Make sense? Okay. Okay, Flugo. I hate doing this show sitting down. Did I ever mention that? I really, I, I prefer to be, sta I'm usually standing up and, and dancing around. Uh, kills my energy. Compare web hosting, it's like it's 2005. 
here we go. This was an interesting. Uh, so one of the things I'm uh, I say pretty frequently is uh, I like the keyword my m y in domain names versus you. A lot of people pursue you uh, in marketing when you're writing out headlines or writing out anything related with marketing. You typically use the word you a lot. You need to this. You can do this. You can save time and money with our like. So it's you based. When it comes to domain names, I believe that the those marketing rules go out, and the best domain names are my base domain names. My bucks, for example, it would be better than your bucks, if that makes sense. The reason why that is is because going to a domain name requires possession. It requires somebody to type in that domain name, and by typing it in my domain name, I'm collecting what's happening on this domain name. I believe it's an important thing that happens with domain names, and it is why I believe in my domains versus your domains. So,、uh, my bucks, though, not really a big fan of it. So I'm going to keep on moving on. Wichita, Kansas. There you go. Did you? Come on, Wichita.、Uh, isn't that?、Uh, I love the movie Zombieland. Completely like inappropriate, but it's freaking hilarious. I love it.、Uh, but I think Wichita is one of the characters. So there you go.、Uh, don't know why I'm sharing that. There you go.、Uh, Homecamera.com.、Eh, these are middle of the road domains. Mouse mats. I'm in Orlando. Maybe they're Mickey mats, Mickey Mouse mats. Am I about to get sued? Socially distant. That's actually kind of funny. I like that domain. Socially distant. In fact, I'm going to add that to my watch list just because I just like it. Anyhow, okay.、Um, That domain name will be for purely fun. I will say this though:、uh, see how it's twelve dollars. Twelve dollars ends in five days. Do like that's the kind of domain you don't. You probably don't even want to bid on it until either somebody else bids on it.、Uh, but at, you want to wait until five minutes left on that domain auction, and within the last five minutes or so,、uh, it extends the auction by five minutes. So you always want to bid outside of five minutes because otherwise it's just going to add time to the auction anyways.、Uh, so you want to bid like five minutes, thirty seconds left. So that way, boom, from your bid, there's only five minutes left. The only thing is, is I've seen a lot of domain names that don't get bids and just go to buy now recently.、Uh, which, if you bid, there are bots that will see you bid last minute. And they will bid against you if that domain name is possibly on their radar. Does that make so? You may experience it. You won't know what the heck's happening until it does. But if you bid last second and you're the first bidder,、uh, there are bots. So there's different computers out there that are watching the bidding activity. And if that domain name goes away and gets a bid, meaning it will sell, they now go and bid above you, and you end up paying more than if you just don't bid. So you have to watch it a little closely,、uh, but you can do it that way as well. Cherry, cherry, near store, near store. I don't think that's any good, but、uh, let's not trust Drew's gut. Let's go with the keyword data, because heaven forbid it actually be a really good domain. I like near type domain names. They're good for keywords in the search engines, but yeah, that's kind of what I figured. UPS store near me. Wow, two million searches a month for UPS store near me. Apple store near me. Near that is, oh, that blows my mind. I had no idea that kind of keyword volume was out there for those keywords. Wow. Okay.、Uh, no money in it though, so that's kind of what I figured. And、uh, entrepreneur names here. If、uh, let me know if that kind of, I, I was probably not very clear as I was talking about that. Let me know if you have questions on it.、Uh, I, I kind of cut it off just because I wasn't sure if I was even making sense. But I don't mind talking about it and trying to get a little cl more clear. So, okay. So let me see here.、Uh, so yes, in my opinion. 
Uh, so what happens, I, I will spend a little more time on this. If there is no one bidding on a domain name, so for example, you'll see here uh, behind me a little bit uh, on this side, it says that there's already two bidders. So that means that domain name is selling at auction, period, okay? There's already bidders, it's gonna sell at auction. The socially distant one that I said I was interested in, you'll see there's no activity over here behind me. So there's no bids currently. Once somebody bids, that means the domain name will sell at auction. Now, if you wait until six minutes left to bid, what will happen is the bots that are looking at domain names will see a last minute bid come in and rather than miss out on a domain name, they will just hit it with a quick bid because they have money and don't mind doing that, right? Does that make sense? If you, if you were a bot and just were running a portfolio of 100,000 domain names, you're not gonna miss out on a domain name for 20 bucks, right? You're gonna just go ahead and go with it and buy some time and have some other algorithm look and analyze that domain name a little closer. So that's exactly what they do. Uh, otherwise, they let the domain name go all the way through the auction process. And if no one bids on a domain name, it goes to the buy now. So that's what Entrepreneur Names is talking about here. If the domain name ends and no one bids, it then goes for sale for 50 bucks. First person to pay 50 bucks wins. And then it goes down. Every day the price goes down. It goes from like uh, $50 to like $30 to $11 to $5. So over the course of a few days, it goes down from $50 to $5. First person to buy it wins. So it becomes a waiting game. If you actually want the domain name, just pay the 50 bucks. Uh, but if you're okay waiting, then wait. Uh, either way, the nice thing is if you're watching the end of the auction, you can choose. Just if you get greedy towards the end uh, and buy like, if you try to wait for the $5 domain name instead of the 50, uh, they do get purchased. I buy domain names all the time, uh, depending on 50 to 11, $20. Uh, so, okay. Guardjobs.com. I own bodyguards.com. Let's see, guardjobs.com, $190 ends in one day, so this is gonna to end tomorrow. Already going to sell, let's go check out the keyword data. Hundred and thirty five searches, bodyguard jobs near me is twelve thousand. So one of the things we haven't done this yet that I do when I look at domain names is I highlight the keyword, do a control F, and what that does is when you're using a browser, it's going to highlight all the places that the keyword shows up. So this domain name is Guard Jobs. Now we did a highlight and now it's showing everywhere that guard jobs appears in the other keywords. So in this case, security guard jobs near me, 12,000 searches, security guard jobs, national guard jobs, coast guard jobs, security, like, so all those keywords in the middle there, uh, there's thousands of other searches that are happening that contain your phrase guard jobs. That's a, that, that's a pretty good, uh, you know, amount of keywords that are happening for it. Now the exact match though, is the 135 over there. 135 is kind of on the low side, but access to all those other ones in the middle, big deal. And then finally, we'll look at the money side of it. Cost per click, 73 cents. We're on the low side there. Advertisers too, also on the low side. Uh, but, you know, I know jobs boards are a popular development nowadays. Uh, so I'm definitely adding it to my watch list. I will be bidding uh, probably in the $600 $800 range if I remember to. I'm on vacation. I may not uh, mess with it. We'll see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Budget online? I don't mind that domain name. I'm not going to look at it. I, I don't like the word online, but it's not bad. Sneaker Wars, Dream AI. I know AI is hot right now. I don't know if Dream AI really is all that good though. A girl cave, that sounds like it's something worth doing. What do they got the she shed, right? Isn't that what the State Farm commercials or uh, Allstate did? But 
let's go check out Girl Cave. I feel like that is actually going to be a much better domain than what... 360 searches for girlcave.com, sexy girl, cave girl costume. Okay. Uh, there we <laughs> Gets a little uh, dicey when you read some of these things. Uh, no advertisers, no cost per click, uh, but I do like the domain name. 360 searches. What would I put on Girl Cave? I'm thinking Guy Cave, right? Come on. Please tell me you've heard that before. Guy Cave being like a place in the house where it's just like, oh, Man Cave. That's what it is. Man Cave. Um, I don't like the word girl necessarily. It sounds kiddish, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe worth something. What to put in a girl cave? People are asking questions that's just above my head there. Uh, what to put in a girl cave? I have no idea. I, I'm not going to get into that very much, but I am going to add it to my watch list. Ends in six days, $23 currently. That will probably go for way too much. Absorbs.com. Let's go check that out. Absorbs.com. So if you see a domain name that I am passing up that you're like, whoa, what about this domain, Drew? Go ahead and toss it into the chat. I can check it out. Uh, I will say when you type a domain name into the chat, you cannot, you just have to spell out the dot. So it's absorbs.com uh, is what you would do. It will not let you put a domain name in the chat, I believe, unless you're Matt. So absor oh, I did not search it yet absorbs 1900 searches that's actually pretty darn good I didn't, that's the highest that we've seen so far uh, absorbs 1900 searches uh, it's actually surprisingly high cost per click one dollar 45 cents to reach the keyword absorbs that is what is happening it there is uh, like there's money involved uh, that's why we like to look at the money pieces somebody is paying to reach the keyword absorbs like that's all they know i don't really know much about it i just know that my product or service has something to do with absorbs so i'm paying a dollar 45 per click to do it so the reason why the money matters is that is somebody that says this keyword matters and if the keyword matters and you call up that advertiser and you're like hey i'm drew with absorbs.com and i was wondering if you wanted to partner with me or advertise or do something with this the answer may be yes. I will say that if there were 10 advertisers, you would get a yes. If there's one advertiser, uh, you'll probably get the receptionist and be like, I don't even know what you're talking about. So, uh, but absorbs.com, not a bad domain name, currently $227. I will say that a lot of times these types of domain names go for way too much because uh, they're single word domain names. Are you allowed to call it girl anymore? I, I feel like you're setting me up for a trap there. I'm not answering that. <laughs> yes, absolutely, is the answer. I'll walk into the trap. I'm not scared. Okay, let's see here. I think it would be a, a fun one. A girl cave. I want to build like a girl, a she shed or whatever for my daughter. She just has no interest in like, I want to build it, but I want to build it with her. And she just wants it versus like being part of the building part. It's like, ah, well, I, that's cool. Okay. Workplace trends, uh, you can see that this here, the 24 to, or 249,000 uh, searches uh, means that there are, uh, the domain name was developed as of some point and has some backlinks to it. And that is what's happening here. Uh, it's $8,000, five days left. That is because there's backlink traffic to it. Let's go see if the keyword data makes it worth it also. And I also saw some cool new stuff on, I'm going to show you this. So uh, workplace trends, get the right keyboards. I'm going to show you a really cool trick that I found on uh, expireddomains.net last week. So there's some new data available uh, that I'll show you how to add it to your expireddomains.net. 
they change all the time. I love, like I someday want to give them a hug and show them my appreciation. I'm sure they've made thousands of dollars off of me and I am perfectly fine with that. I very much appreciate their product. Workplace Trends, really not much happening with it. N not really good keyword volume, not really good uh, advertisers or anything. Workplace Trends sounds like a thing. Somebody's buying it and they're buying it for keyword data. They're buying it for Google. I recommend not doing that. That is not my game, but there you go. Okay, let me see here. I want to uh, pull up workplace. Let me, sh well, let's get to one page. I'm gonna finish this, la this first page on uh, expireddomains.net, and then I will show you the, some of the new stuff that you can add to your expireddomains.net that they added that will help us significantly uh, look through domain names. Gamer fun? No. I mean, it's not a bad domain, just, yeah. So this is a good example of, uh, here you go, driver, driver's update. Driver update? Maybe. Driver's update? Pfft. Garbage. You got to watch those, those first word, uh, those first word plurals are just very dangerous. They can be good. We've seen them before, but it's just not, not something you can just count on. Oh my goodness, Rich's Domain's tossing in a bunch of different things here. But yes, as far as uh, you can, that's how you can type them into the thing. Um, I do not like domain names, so let me just put up a couple of these real quick just to kind of show. Uh, and I'm doing this mostly because Rich's Domain's is here week to week and here often. So. Uh, these are some of their domains they have, and I will tell you, I do not like near me in a domain name. The reason being, three words is the max of a, of a domain name, in my opinion. Uh, two words is typically as many as I really want. I will go to a third word. But when you are adding in near me, you're basically adding in words just for the search engines more than anything else. Uh, just not a good play is what it comes down to. Uh, I avoid the near me domains. Now with that said, I have seen companies make good money off their development projects on those domains. So you can certainly develop them because what does that domain name do? The domain name may suck because it may be four or five words, but the keywords of it make sense. What do you expect to find on, um, well, let me find one of your domain names real quick. What do you expect to find on music events near me? Music events near me, right? Like it, it says what is there. So those longer domain names are great domain names for uh, what I call the beachhead development projects where you buy a domain name that's not great, but then you start with like a four or five word domain name. Hopefully you're able to hand register it or get it for cheap. And then you essentially use that, develop it, start making money, and then you can afford to drop a word off your domain name. And then you drop another word off your domain name. And then hopefully someday you can even drop another word off your domain name. So it's the beachhead. It's like when they storm Normandy, they gotta take over all of Europe. They gotta open up the Western Front. And you can't just like go in just from different, you, you have to find a beachhead. You have to find one place that you can attack really, really solid and get a foothold to, to open up the floodgates for that industry. That's what the beachhead is all about. Get those longer domain names for development. I probably wouldn't invest in them, uh, but your goal is to get a long domain name and just shorten it. So in fact, that's how we did it with towing.com. Uh, we got lucky and start, stumbled into auto towing was our first domain name. Then we added towing company, towing companies, roadsideservice.com, but they're all two words, right? And as I had those, I was like, all oh, these two words domains, they're all gonna get their asses kicked if I don't own towing, right? Like 
I, so we got a little bit going on the, the singular uh, and on the small, the longer domains. And then we were like, boom, we're all in on towing. I'll put my house on the line. I believe in this. I know this will work. $175,000 towing.com. So that's the beachhead. My beachhead domain name was autotowing.com. But it could have very well been autotowingnearme.com or something like that. Okay. I, so uh, I, I'm probably not the best person to ask on the value, to be quite honest. I, somebody's going to own them. I just hope you sell them for cheap enough to allow somebody to, uh, to, to build them out. That's that's my like that's my opinion more than anything else. If you're selling them for as cheap as you can bear, uh, then so be it. Uh, I don't I wouldn't hold them in my portfolio to be quite honest. But then again, I, I don't do this for the sake of selling. I do this for the sake of development. Guard company. So somebody must be letting their portfolio go because uh, I've saw a couple of them that are guard related. Yeah, I was just talking about, uh, you know, my intentions with domain names are to get more domains developed. Domain names can bring value to the world. Uh, I talk about this. In fact, let me, boom, let me uh, pull this up here for a second. Uh, growing up, I was, I grew up in like a, a poor neighborhood. And uh, one thing about poor neighborhoods or just any neighborhood really, but especially poor neighborhoods, is there's a lot of vacant buildings and vacant land. And you're, I was in a community where there wasn't a whole lot going on. Like there's just like this whole city, but they're all vacant. They're all like locked up and not really being used. And growing up, I, I saw all these buildings that could be used for something and they weren't being used. And I felt when I was growing up, like, I could have had this great childhood where there was so much adventure and things, but because no one developed the buildings, no one took a chance and put something in them, they were just there and they never brought value to my life or anyone in the community. Uh, and because of that, that like wound that it put on me, I, I carry that into domain names. I carry it to where it's like a domain name only it needs to bring value. It cannot be something that we park and hope to make a million dollars off of someday and we're willing to wait 10, 20 years of a domain name not bringing value to the world so that way we can make riches in some in some future. Like it just uh, I feel like I owe it to my younger self to make sure that I'm advocating for getting domain names developed, getting the real estate of the world to bring value to the communities and the people that are involved in them. So that's, that's why I have that, uh, that extra, uh, that extra kind of, uh, it's, I don't want all the domain names to sit in somebody's portfolio waiting for a sale. I want to get them in the hands of developers, people that will do something with them. Now, I will tell you, like, the abandoned buildings and stuff, we used to be all over those. We're lucky we didn't die. Uh, and, like, we're lucky floors didn't collapse and stuff. Uh, but that's real real, real, real estate versus uh, Internet stuff. Long story short, let's develop our domain names. And certainly don't price them to where they're never going to sell or something like that. Like, that's just, that's my opinion, though. You don't have to do it. That's just, I mean, I certainly have domain names that I try to sell for more than what they're worth, but they're worth it to me to hold on to it. Like, I want to hold on, to, like Computer Armor. I've never had an offer on a domain name, but I've had it for so long that I want to hold on to it. It's like one of the first domain names I uh, bought that I thought was really good. Actually, I'd sell for a couple thousand dollars, but still. Okay, actually, security patrols. Let's look at this one real quick. Uh, securitypatrols.com ends tomorrow, and this may be a good domain name. Let's find out. What do you do when you're in a country and uh, everybody's cutting police forces? 
well, maybe you hire your own private security patrol. Um, security patrol company is 1300 but we have the plural security patrols. Uh, no money, $3 per click, but there's nobody paying it. Uh, certainly going to add it to my watch list, $210. Uh, it won't go above $4 or four figures, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. All righty. So now let's go check out the new filters and things that we can set up through uh, expireddomains.net. I found this the other day, and I was super excited about it. So uh, before I used SpyFu, which is the keyword tool we use here, I used something called semrush.com. And uh, SEM Rush is good. It's just it does not, it doesn't simplify the data you're looking at. It just has a lot of extra data, which especially for this show, I want to have a simple data that makes it as clean cut, easy for me to say, boom, there's good keywords, there's good amount, there's good advertisers, buy or not, here's the value, move on. Uh, I mention SEM Rush because. Let me go to my saved filter here for the show. Uh, on expireddomains.net, there is this up in that column. See that column manager up there? That allows you to choose the columns that show up in the search. And you can now add uh, in, see that SEM rush over there? That's this one here. You can add in SEMrush API data. Like, that's like a big deal. That's a big deal. So essentially, if it wasn't such small text, I could just show you these domain names. So this is basically saying uh, organic cost, organic traffic, organic keywords. Organ so organic is referring to people typing stuff into the search engines. So this is great data for evaluating a domain name. So uh, let me see, Th those are the main things. So I have, as you can see here, I added in all of the, uh, all of the SEM rush data and I'll show you how that appears here in a minute. Uh, but then also, uh, I'll just show you the other columns that we have. I have registrar in there. I have the length of the domain name because sometimes when I'm searching not on the show, I'll look at that. Uh, Majestic Million is another keyword search thing. It looks at the backlinks of a domain name. So I have all those things in there, and you can save those once you update them. And here's what we get. Let me go back to that our saved search that we do each week. So at the top of our columns, we have in... Uh, the medallion, the MMIP, those are the medallion, the, and when you hover it over, it tells you the Majestic Million one. But check this out now. Uh, we have now these SEM Rush keyword data. Like that, this is a big deal. Like this is like uh, a thing. So if we wanted to now, we can come and we can say, uh, let's look at the estimated search engine traffic for the domain names and you can order this data. On my screen, it's gonna be really small. So the key thing is column manager, add in the SEM, SEM rush data, and then you can order by these columns. So some of the things I've been doing over the last few days since I figured this, or over the last week, is I've been looking at, uh, let me see, popularity. So they have a popularity ranking. How does this rank in all of the websites based on traffic and so on? So you'll see here the chatterbox, the chatterbox.com has, uh, is a, is ranked at 370,000 out of many tens of millions of websites that are ranked here. So that's kind of a big deal. And let me see here. There's uh, organic price of organic keywords and then uh, organic search results. Or how, that's how many times it shows it. So these numbers here, uh, that is like uh, the cost that it's going to cost you to reach that traffic. So basically, this here is saying it's worth $4,000 
to reach the traffic that this domain name generates. Eh, treat that like the valuation from GoDaddy. It's not actually, don't pay $4,000 for that domain name assuming that, but there you go. That's essentially what that's saying. And then we have this one over here that is uh, the traffic, the estimated traffic brought in from being top 20 on the organic search engine results that this domain name has. They are estimating 3.8 thousand uh, traffic. And then uh, this one is keyword users. So these are the number of keywords. So there's 116 keywords that's ranking in the top 24. So if you are dealing with some SEO, if you deal in SEO domain names, uh, that is some really cool data that is being that you can add in for uh, SEM Rush, and one of the things you'll also notice here is those domain names over here on the price that's being charged. This green column back here, you'll see that some of these domain names. Uh, look at this. Uh, we when we look on domain to profit, we typically get down to about maybe the domain names that are valued at $3,000 or more. We don't ever get down very far. I will a lot of times in my search on my own go down to $1,600. Uh, but look at this. This one's only worth $789. If we were looking only at the value of the domain name, $789 would be it. It already has a bid of 2750 Why is that? Well, you can see that it shows up well here, has good data from SEM Rush, and it's probably a topic Porterhouse Athens. I don't know what that is, but there you go. Buying the right domain names is all about having data that can help you see the domain name as more than just a dot com. You have to be able to see the keywords and the business behind it. Uh, so SEM Rush is a nice uh, addition. So let me see here. Still a little blurry. I might have had a little. Uh, when I show that small text there, Michael, it I think gets blurry pretty frequently. Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna, going to be wrapping up. I'm going to check out the chat, make sure I've got this though. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm glad that you uh, like that, Rian. It's uh, like, it, that. when I saw that, I started to go through. So what we do here on the show is very limited. You can look at domain names from many different angles. Uh, these million, my, or uh, the majestic million backlink things, you'll see that a lot of people will pay big money uh, for the ones that have a lot of keywords. I, like, that's not my game. Other people do, not necessarily me. Uh, like, so here, the Majestic, oh, you can't see it. Let me uh, put that back up on the screen. So like this first column that I have set up is the Majestic Million Global Rank. So just like SEM Rank, SEM Rush ranks sites, so does this. So basically, these are very popular domain names already. Somebody had bought them, they developed them, and now those domain names have expired, and the site that was on it is gone, but the domain name, that real estate, still has value, uh, so much value that in many cases, uh, some of the highest domain sales go uh, to the uh, based on the pat what was on it before not a game necessarily i play although i used to play it when i first got into the domain names i definitely i i played in search engine optimized domains uh but then i realized that that is it's kind of small potatoes i'd much rather build on something better so anyhow there you go socialtwist.com that kind of seems fun let me just click on that one real quick I, I keep going after the show, by the way. Like someday, maybe I'll uh, uh, start to do like an af an after hour show on Discord or something where we just spend some more time. Uh, Socialtwist.com, nine hundred and seventy-three dollars. More of a brandable than anything else is the one I have up on my screen right now. Uh, four days social twist. Let me run through the domain names that we have real quick as we wrap up. Uh, that one's the one I just pulled up four days left on that one, socialtwist.com, more of a brandable, not bad though. 
uh, securitypatrols.com. I like it. Added to my watch list. Going to bid at least a few hundred dollars more than what it is currently. 210 currently ends tomorrow. I will bid, assuming I remember. Workplacetrends.com, already $8,000 is a good keyword thing if you're like into the news or political type stuff, workplace trends, blah, blah, blah. Not really my thing, uh, but there you go, $8,000. That one ends in five days. Absorbs.com ends next week uh, on Monday. Not really my thing, but $227, maybe yours. Uh, girlcave.com, I just think is a fun one. Uh, to uh, rival the man cave. Guardjobs.com, I actually like this one quite a bit. Uh, it goes well with my bodyguards.com uh, site. Uh, that one ends tomorrow, $190, so I probably will be paying attention to domains tomorrow a little bit. Near store, I think it's garbage, but you may like it. Uh, near store, there, it accesses, it might be a beachhead domain name to target other keywords related to near this store, near that store. $15 currently ends in five days. Socially distant, I just think is kind of funny as like maybe a blog or something like that. Uh, again, that's one that you want to wait for it to go to buy now, if not do a last minute bid on. And then IT specialist is what I would view this one as, $116 currently, two days left on the auction. On my watch list, I like it, not a whole lot though. The singular would be better according to the keyword data, but plural works well for what I build, which is directories a lot of times. Seasonpass.com, what a fun domain name. You can do a lot with it, but at the same time, it's already going for over $9,000. So there you go. Those are the main names we found this week on Domain to Profit. Had some fun stuff, I believe. And uh, I hope that you got some value out of what we found. I think you did. If nothing else, that SEM rush, go and learn a little bit more about it. That is probably the, t the top little nuanced uh, uh, piece of data, the little tip that I can give you this week that made a big difference to me when I found out about it last week. So drew all the domain names. All the domain names that you don't use, do you put them up for sale? Uh, let me put that up on the screen. I put almost all my domain names up for sale. People ask all the time, is this up for sale? Is this up for sale? Everything's for sale for the right price. So uh, yes, I have most of the, I have a lot of domain names up for sale uh, all across the board. If it's not developed, it is for sale until it gets developed. So the way I kind of do it is I do a tiered price where it's like uh, it's for sale for uh, some amount that is usually a pretty tolerable amount. Uh, and then once we start developing on it, the, to put to develop, once we start developing a domain name, the price goes pretty high because, I mean, as of that point, you're putting five, ten thousand dollars a month into that domain name. Uh, at least we do. Uh, so the value just it, it just makes it kind of ridiculous. Uh, but <coughs> excuse me. Uh, but yes. Our domain names are for sale. One of the things about most of our domain names, though, we pay a lot for them. So because we pay so much for them, like there is no wholesale amount for our domains because we're paying so much for them, if that makes sense. Uh, I will, though, say uh, that they are for sale. What I like to do even more than for sell them is rent them. Uh, I like to rent them for very cheap. In fact, we have some really good domain names. Uh, well, okay, I'll, I'll just I'll share this. But uh, one of the a lot of people see me use Epic domains, Epic the registrar, and they're kind of like, why don't you break away from it or whatever? The reason is Epic allowed for me to rent my domain names out to people, and I have several domain names that are rented out. Every month, the, the, they pay the domain, that money goes in, and it's all caught up in all this epic stuff that's happening with uh, Epic as a registrar and their cash flow issues and stuff. Uh, but I love to rent domain names out at a very affordable rate. So some of the domain names I think I bought for several thousand dollars, and I'll rent them for like 150 bucks a month or something. So like I won't even make my money back unless they rent it for a couple of years. But because the person wants to develop that domain name, like I am about 
domains getting developed. So if you see a domain name that I own that you love, uh, we can talk about rental or something like that. Uh, basically what I do is rent it for cheap and they can always buy it at the expensive buy price. Expensive for me is not normal expensive. It's still expensive, but uh, I, I don't want to give any domains away that um, are under rental because I don't want to do that to them. But uh, for example, I know one of them, I think we rent out at like $180 a month. The buy now price is like 8800 or something like that. So like they can rent it forever. They can rent it for like six years and never actually pay what I would have them pay to buy it. But if they want to buy it, they can buy it for $8,000 or whatever. So uh, we tend to be very affordable when we do stuff. I consider that just me putting my money where uh, my mouth is when it comes to I want domain names developed, which is why we develop, why we build systems, why we do all kinds of stuff to get domain names in the hands of developers and get sites up on them. I'm very passionate about it. So, so there you go. Uh, no, uh, I did some lease to purchase domain names through Dan a few times. Uh, I had disastrous, I, I hated it. The entire process was a, a horrible. Uh, most of it was because Dan made some mistakes on their, um, Dan.com that is, which is now acquired by GoDaddy. Uh, they like s forgot to collect payment for a few months and stuff like that. And then uh, the domain names that I had going for lease to own, they were like dot app domain names. And it turns out that when they're leasing to own, you have to pay the renewal still, even though like, so some of the domain, one of the domain names had to be renewed for like $500 a year. And here I am renting it lease to own for like $130 a month. It's like half the year I'm just paying for the renewal. Basically, there, there were some communicate. I don't like lease to own. I want to rent it, so just treat it like I own the real estate and rent it, or I want to sell it. I don't like the lease to own thing. I'm, I'm not rent a center. <laughs> I do encourage. I uh, so one of the things I uh, put. Uh, I mentioned recently in a tweet that I want to. Uh, I'm going to create a domain marketplace as of some point, maybe. It's like, it's kind of down on my, it's not a high priority, but it is something I want to create. When I do it, I want to emphasize rentals. I think that rentals are one of the ways that domain owners can really bring value to people that want to create things. We always say that domain names are virtual real estate. It's internet real estate, right? Well, if you have real real estate, you can rent it, you can sell it, you can develop it. Like all these things we can do on domain names as well. So uh, same kind of thing. Uh, so there you go. Alrighty, on that note, I am Drew Wash, and I'm going to go hang out with my family on vacation as of this point. I may see you on Discord as well. So thank you for joining me. I will be back Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern time next week to look at more domains I will be in the discord server a little bit and over on Twitter Drew Wash is the handle highly recommend you check us out over there there's a great domain community there as well I will see you all and thank you all for all your comments questions I love it I want to do more of it uh, and I will see you all next week until then take care